You told me when the season began that the Commanders Ravens Week Six matchup would have a three and two and four and one teams playing against each other. We would have all assumed the Commanders they off to a pretty good three and two start, but that's not the case. They're the four and one team. Does it continue or is it time to fade them? I've got the answer here. Free play with analysis coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, WagerTalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, talking about not my Washington Commanders against the Baltimore Ravens. Not my Baltimore Colts. Hey, 40 years ago when I was a youth going to Redskin games at RFK, this would have been Colts, Redskins. Now it's Ravens, Commanders, how the times have changed. But what's really changed is that Washington's got a team now. They've got a quarterback. Jaden Daniels is having a fantastic rookie season. And it's not misleading that they're off to a 4-1 and one start as they've been a fantastic offensive team. But that defense is still suspect. And ding, ding, red flag alert. The, the Commanders are a public dog this week. Don't forget, by the way, you can get all my public sides in my NFL Fade the Public Week 6 video this Saturday here on the channel. Click subscribe and click that bell for an instant alert when it is available. And yes, the Commanders, a little foreshadowing, a little inside information for you. The Commanders will be a public dog this week in that video. And it's not a surprise. Uh, the public was on heavy on Washington last week. If you recall from the video, the Commanders were the most public play in Week 5. In fact, the public is also on the Ravens as an additional public dog lean. And last week was the first time in five weeks that the public came out ahead on the public plays. They lost the first four weeks in that video, so it'll be interesting to see how they do here in week six. But they are back in the Commanders once again. Four straight wins and covers since losing that first game at Tampa. But I do think this is where we fade the public and we fade that public dog. We'll take the Ravens here minus six and a half for a few reasons. First of all, Fading the public works long-term because we get line value, and that's definitely the case here. In fact, the opening and look-ahead line was 7-8 to eight last week, and even in the opener last Sunday, now it's 6.5. It's below that key number of 7, so we are getting some line value now. And it's also a very negative spot for Washington. They fit several letdown situations here after the back-to-back high-scoring wins. They've now covered four straight and one four straight, as I mentioned. But this is a huge step up in class um, they've played some really bad teams this season. They lost by 17 against Tampa, who's a decent team. Then they barely beat the Giants, seven field goals, one by three. Yeah, they beat the Bengals on the road. We thought that was a solid win at the time as a seven-point Monday night dog, but Cincinnati's now one and four on the season. Arizona win was impressive, 42-14. And then, of course, last week, 21-point win over the Browns, who appear terrible as well. This is by far the best team the Commanders have played. It's a step up in class and on the road. Not a good spot here. And Baltimore was coming off the blowout win against Buffalo. You recall a couple Sunday nights ago, I had a strong best bet for my clients on the Bills. It's part of my number one ranked college and pro football ATS units won the last three seasons combined. That 35-10 winner played a part of it a couple weeks ago. Um, As I mentioned last week, the public was fading the Bengals. They were on the Ravens. Ravens got it done, barely winning by three as a a two-and-a-half point favorite. High-scoring shootout. Um, I do have a Sunday night video, by the way, for you in that Giants-Bengals game, so check that out as well here on Wager Talk TV. We'll talk about those 1-4 and four Bengals and if their season is done or not. Um, but I think Baltimore carries some momentum in for that win. It was a bad spot for them last night, last week, and they still came out ahead. I think this is a good spot this week, and I like the matchup. Um, yes, Jaden Daniels has been fantastic. He can move the ball. He doesn't make mistakes. That's been the key. He just hasn't been throwing interceptions. And also, he's been doing well running the ball. But I think Baltimore will do a good job containing him. And if you look at some of the metrics, especially like third down, late third down and long, the commanders have been lights out. It's something that I do not think can continue. Now, part of it is because Jaden Daniels looks like he's for real. But they are due to regress a bit, and I think that starts this week. Uh, They had no turnovers in the first three games of the season with a true rookie quarterback, which is really crazy. Um, This is the week to fade the commanders, and I think we fade this public dog. Take a look at the Ravens, minus the 6.5. And And, uh, once again, that game's at 1 o'clock Eastern on CBS. And I reference that uh, that Washington defense. Yeah, the offense has been solid, 6.5 yards per play, but the defense has given up 6 yards per play against teams that have averaged just 5.5 Ravens are averaging 6.9. This is a huge step up in class. And uh, the Ravens averaging over 6 yards per rush. Commander's rush defense has been really weak, giving up over 5 yards per carry to teams that average just 4.5. So look for Baltimore to be able to run the ball at will and control the line of scrimmage here on Sunday. Hey, what do you think of this game? Are the Commanders for real? They might be for real. I think this is a bad spot this week. But how are you attacking this game? Side, total, player props. Love them player props. Include them whenever you have them as we can learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. And be sure to check out my other free play videos. I mentioned the Sunday night game, Bengals and Giants. 
Also have your Monday Night Bills-Jets matchup as well. Of course, gave you another free primetime winner this past Thursday with the over in the Niners-Seahawks game on Thursday night. I've been trying to do these national TV games every week for you. A lot of times they don't make my best bet card. Um, but once again, the Thursday night play is perfect 4-0 sweep the last four Thursday nights since I've been doing these free play videos. So I hope you're finding it useful. Thumbs up, like if you are. And don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell for instant alerts so you never miss out when these videos go live each and every week here on Wager Talk TV. Now, if you are serious about winning, these free play opinions and TV lanes are nice. You know, these are games I'm considering. Very often, they don't make my best bet card. I treat them maybe as like a 1% lean. My official 4% best bets are reserved for my personal clients. These are the exact same games I am personally using each and every day, and my clients get them. If I've got to play, my clients get them. It's that simple. I've been doing this now for 29 seasons as a full-time professional handicapper, and I do quite well. My record speaks for itself. We're up over 150 units of profit already this calendar year in 2024, nine months in, and we got another two and a half to three months to go. Don't miss out. Great special this weekend, by the way. If you buy one month, you get the second month for just $99. It's a 60-day special. Gets you that second month for just $99. No promo code needed. It's on my page right now, Steve Merrill. WagerTalk.com. By the way, college football and pro football have been fantastic. As I mentioned, number one the last three seasons combined on ATS Units 1. 31 and 13 finish to the baseball regular season. The playoffs are here now. NBA starts in less than two weeks. I'm number one all time, including the last three years, Units 1 in the NBA at Wager Talk. So this is a great time to be an all-sports client. In fact, this is the only time of year in which a package will get you baseball, football, and basketball at the same time. So yeah, that's, that two-month, that 60-day special is a great offer. But if you're really serious about treating this as a long-term investment, you know what I'm going to say. The one-year all-access is the way to go. I've given you this promo code for several weeks, and so many of you have gotten on board. And I'm so glad you did because we just continue to win. If you've been sitting on the sidelines, dragging your heels, watching winner after winner pass you by, don't delay. You can still get over an $800 discount on my one-year all-access with promo code SM365. SM365 gets it done. Works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play. For every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bait I release for the next 365 days and nights. SM365 is that promo code. Look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes or the special offers. Take your time. Go to my page. Check them out. See which one works best for you. You'll see which best bets are available. You'll also see a recap of the last 20 plays, a running recap at the bottom of the page with analysis. You can follow along when you're ready to jump on board. Do so. And don't forget about the free plays. I post a free play almost every day with analysis as well. So go check that out right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free play videos coming up next.